Yeah, guys, I have the Lego Concord. And today, I'm going to be building it. Even though I'm not even 18, I, I'm going to build it. This might take me hours. Well, definitely, it is going to take me hours. So this video might be a little bit long. But first, I'm going to tell you how I got this. So uh, it was two months ago when I got uh, home uh, after living in the USA for three years. When we came back, uh, I saw this. Well, no, I didn't see this. I, I saw a box with my channel name. It looked like this, and what was inside was this. So apparently, uh, uh my my uncle and, and my aunt they, they watched my videos, and so, uh, they gave me this. Uh, they couldn't enter my home without us being there because they had a copy of our keys. So that because we were gone for three years. Uh, so they had to, we had to check that the house was okay. So they, so they, we gave them a, a copy of our key. So that, yeah, and that's how they entered. So first let's look at the package. So it says it has 2,000 pieces. I have an air, a Lego air, another Lego airplane. It has like a third of that number of pieces. It's this one right here. It, it has... 669 pieces and it, I don't have it right now because it's like in the CP container with the rest of our things that should be arriving next week and now let's look at the back so it's a bit more detailed it says that this is this is a meter long my other plane was half of that then we can see uh, some of the interior. Okay. It looks very complicated. It has a lot of small parts. This is definitely taking me a lot of hours. It would be very bad if I dropped it, like Swiss Cheers one did. Yeah, that actually already, you could tell. You, we, we were asked, you know, what plane is this? This is definitely a con. Yes, everybody, there it is. And then here, there's also a picture of this plane in real life with the same livery, which is the test livery. Okay, so now I'm going to open it. Ah, oh, it's gonna be very hard to open it with my phone because I have to hold it. But maybe if I put it like on my knee. No, I'm just gonna call my mom. Okay, this is now open. Uh, is... uh wait, no, the other way. Uh, and now I need to take this thing out. Is there more? Yeah, there's more stuff inside. Okay, I took this box out of, out of the box. I think there's yeah, there's up to number 18, that's a lot. But there's not 18 bag, bags here, I think. The rest are in this box. What the hell is this? Oh, those are the instructions. It waits a lot. Okay. So, I guess we're gonna start building now. Okay, so there's this text here, but uh, I too lazy to read it out loud, so just I, I just pass and read it. And there's also this. Okay, finally here's the part with. 
uh, we start building. I need to search for bag number one. Uh, oh, here. Okay, so the first step says I do this. Wait, this is what? Yes. Um, where's that one? Uh, oh, this one. <sighs> oh, wait, I'm just gonna check how many. Oh, for Oh, no. that I'm actually building the wig. I thought this this was like part of the fuselage and that was uh, this was the the exit in the middle the emergency exit in the middle you know the one that's like here Okay, so I just built this thing, uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's for the engines. <coughs> there we go. Bag number two is done, so we can do number three. Uh, which is as long as I'm searching for back number two. It's this one. Okay, so now it tells me to take a piece out. Why? What the heck? They, why did I put it there in the first place? Why did it take me to put it there? I'm gonna start with back number four. This is the landing gear mechanism, but I think it's not working very well. Anyway, we are finished with bag number four, so we can uh, start with bag number five. Let's open back number six right now. Wait, is this six or nine? Here, I don't see the, this piece right here, so I think this is six. I mean, nine. This is six. Yeah, this is the one six. Ok, 
Okay, so now uh, we can start with pack number seven, but once again, for some reason, it tells me to take these things out. I don't know why. I mean, here it keeps them. But if I build them for something, uh, they must be used for something other than just hoarding this. Obviously, right? So here's pack number seven. This just keeps waking. I'm just gonna stop for today. I'm gonna continue tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so finally, right now it's tomorrow, and I'm gonna continue building this. Uh, this was broken uh, yesterday, so today uh, I spent a few minutes rebuilding it. Uh, so. Obviously, we're gonna continue. And the next thing I have to do is put this here, but it's very fine. Take over here so that you, I can do it better. Yes. Hopefully, this doesn't break again, because this does break very easily. Okay, it's so perfect. And now I just have to put this. Wait, is the camera okay? Let me just move the camera a little bit. Okay, uh, okay, just have to put this thing. Uh, this hole right here. Okay, it's perfect. So now we can start with bag number eight. We are almost halfway done.
we can finish bag number 11 so uh, we can start uh, with bag number 12 this is the progress so far but right now i'm gonna eat lunch so uh, i'm gonna continue later bye okay so i'm back from my break so i'm gonna continue building the concord now uh, i'm starting with bag number 12 However, uh, then I made a very stupid mistake that delayed me one week. The part where I messed up was uh, in this piece, which I forgot to put before this step, in which I put this and then this piece. And this piece is very hard to take out. I destroyed the paint a lot just to try to take it out. And this piece was useless, so... It was even worse. I spent a whole week trying to repair it, but I didn't do a lot of progress. And it's Saturday, it still looked like this. It wasn't until Sunday that I actually got working. And finally, I could say... I finally finished fixing the Concord. This is what it currently looks like. While fixing the Concord, I also did bag number 12. And I added this interior, which was seen back 12, obviously. And now I can finally say after one week that we can start with bag number 13. Now, one thing uh, of when I was fixing, uh, because it was very hard, there were some pieces I couldn't uh put where they were supposed to be so now the front landing gear uh so it, it, it's supposed to come down simultaneously as the middle landing gear but now it doesn't so yesterday i found this piece so maybe that's the reason why i couldn't figure out why i can't make the, the landing gear the front landing gear um, retract at the same time as the the main landing gear but at least let's let's check if the middle landing gear works because in this step we're uh, we are supposed to check if it works if it doesn't work I messed up really bad Okay, luckily it does work. Very good. And now I can also put the landing gear wheels. Oh. Number 14.
okay this is everything for today this is what it looks like right now uh, the front landing gear doesn't sustain the plane very well but that's because it is supposed to be in this stand so uh, I will continue tomorrow uh, at bar number 16 uh, bye <laughs> Okay, now it's Monday. I have limited time today because, you know, I have school and I have to do homework. I already did my homework, but I only have 40 minutes anyway. Also, I found a way so that this landing gear, uh, it doesn't, you know, like, it doesn't go forward. I just put this orange piece here. So, uh, I'm going to continue building the Concord Okay, I finished bag 18. Uh, uh, that's everything for today. I'll continue tomorrow. Bye. Okay, now it's Wednesday and I'm going to continue with bag 19. Today I have less time than yesterday, but I should have enough time to finish building the back of the plane and then tomorrow I I will build the stand and then uh, everything will be finished
we should get to do this time, you know, so that you put it like understand. Um, I know how to explain it. Yeah, you know this this thing. This is what I mean. I don't have time today, so I will build it tomorrow. But anyway, this Concord still looks beautiful. It's it's so cool, even though it's very big. I, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Maybe I can up there. I tried yesterday and it just barely fits. So maybe I will right there. So uh, we will see tomorrow. Good night. Now finally I'm going to fully finish the Concord and I'm going to build the base or stand or whatever you want to call it. Okay, now it's finally finished. Um, so, the only problem is where do I put it? So, I was thinking, well, I, I think I said this like two days ago, like up there, and I tried that, yeah, it barely fits. But maybe, like, now that we have the, the base, maybe we can put it there. So, I'm going to try to do that. Okay, it doesn't really fit. So maybe for now I will keep it there. This is what the Concord looks like up there. This is that's a good place, I think. So that's everything uh, uh, I have to say for this video. Shout out to my uncle and my aunt because uh, they gave me this Lego Concord, and because they have been subscribed to my channel uh, very early. Uh, they subscribe when. Like, the day after I created my channel, I think. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, obviously. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.